Hello, my name is Ryan. I am 29 years old. I live in Los Angeles, California, and um, today's topic is Paterna, Paterna, Paterna. Now, if you're wondering if I'm growing my mustache or whatever, I'm not. It's just, it hurts to shave sometimes. Don't know if that's one of the things that you're supposed to have with cancer, but um, that's all. So, don't worry about it. So, I need to... Just as a bookmark for myself or for uh, other people, I need to um, address what happened with uh, the, the Penn State um, child abuse scandal that is happening currently at this point in time in the United States of America. As you may know or may not know, there is currently a sex scandal going on with a assistant coach regarding the Penn State football team and the horrors that child abuse can bring and, and bring out that um, I can share with you, unfortunately. When I was in elementary school, I was uh, molested by my, uh, f my friend's brother. And uh, the, the <sighs> there are so many things about it. it she, was, she was my best friend. And this was her older brother who was probably in high school at the time that this happened. Now, a lot of you will be flabbergasted that this happened to me, but they moved away the following year. So once once they moved away, one and once she moved away, I, I don't even remember her last name. I don't have a yearbook to, to tell me what it was, but um, she, her brother molested me when I was very young. I was in fourth grade. She was in or third grade. And uh, it, it happened between third grade and the summer between third grade and, and fourth grade. And <clears throat> I was very young. And um, I, I don't really actually blame him for, for molesting me um, in, in the way that he did because it was in a way that only a teenager would do. Uh, one one that in, an adult wouldn't do to a, a younger child, but I think that um, with that um, saying that um, he probably had learned it from someone else as well. Someone probably had molested him as well. So I can give you firsthand accounts of what had happened, but I can't really tell you what really really happened because it was such a short time frame that it wasn't. Um, I mean, you, you just you don't remember a lot from third grade to fourth grade. That's just that's just a thing. And even though this may be some people will say experimentation or whatever, it is almost never the case that the the person who got molested understands or knows what had happened. In fact, in a lot of cultures and a lot of things, if you were raped by someone else, it's almost always your your fault. Um, in Western culture, it's never like that. It's always the the case that the per the person who is molesting is is the 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 major player in here. But in other cultures, the, um, sometimes these people will kill their their children if they knew that they were raped because th there's something about it that says that the the child was permissive to be raped or molested, and that's just not the case in the United States. What had happened in Penn State happened with an older man, much, much older man, and uh, children. He said that he didn't do it sexually, but the, um, the, the coach, the other who eventually became the assistant coach, McCreary, said that Sandusky was actually having sex with the children, whereas some of the children say that he was just weird or he was a you know, um, too touchy. Some of them have definitely accused him of, of having sex with them. Now, I think the true horror of it is that it happened with a football program. Um, you don't see things in more egalitarian sports like um, soccer or even wrestling that this happens. You don't you don't see a big, huge abuse scandal. It, it pops up every now and then, like um, the, there was... As, as hazing kind of things, um, people 
somehow think that um, to, to initiate you in the team, you need to be sexually molested with the broom handle. That happens, in, and it does happen in the United States. It happens in Canada. It happens everywhere in the world. But um, the reason that we're so horrified as people in the United States is that that um, that football is the most masculine of masculine sports. This would never have happened when I was playing soccer on my uh, <laughs> on the team in my hometown. It would never have happened. I don't think that there's ever an inkling that we would even turn anything sexual, even though uh, we're <clears throat> as as still as children and and as as uh, I don't know if you could consider me a jock because I'm because I became a fat short Asian guy. Um, you know, JV soccer is just not one of those places that you would ever get hazed, or at least that I could tell. Again, as my sports goes, um, you know, I was on the track team. I did shot put. And again, it's one of those places that you just, it's not permissible because there are men and women on the team that this kind of sort of cooperative but individualistic style of, of athleticism never showed anything. I mean, there, there are always the things that athletes have sex with each other because athletes do that. But... It, it never was a place that, you know, adults would ever have sex with children because they're just, there wasn't the time to do it. There wasn't a place to do it. Everything was public and everyone was public. You changed on the bus. Everyone's seen everyone pretty naked or pretty um, undressed. And it's just not a place that you would ever have a sex scandal that we that they had in the locker room in Penn State possibly. Now child sex scandals happen every year. You hear it with um, with with teachers having sex with their students or um, you know advisors having sex with their with their um, their students, and you hear this happen as um, as something you know remote. It's only one person, and it's only between two people that the that the molestation happened. But the reason that we're just so horrified about this is because the most masculine of most masculine sports, a coach who is supposed to be, you know, the the pillar of the community, molested maybe dozens of boys who was, like, a, a horrible sex pervert. I mean, he, he even said... Oh yeah, maybe I touched their legs, and maybe we were rowdy, and maybe we were doing horseplay, whatever horseplay is. Um, we're we're horrified because it, it it takes away the innocence of these people, of people like me. It takes away the innocence of what what it is. A lot of people don't understand what sex is until way after high school or way after they um, after they have had their first sexual encounter. They don't understand it. And to, to put this on the mind of an 11-year-old or a 12-year-old is just beyond horrifying in any situation, in any culture. It's never permitted in every culture. This is a universal truth. Uh, every culture has this taboo on it. It's, it's kind of like a taboo about incest and things like that. Child brides always have this kind of revulsion from the from Westerners because we know that it's wrong. We know that it's wrong because their bodies are not mature enough to, or they're, and they're not mature enough to understand what is happening to them. And I have to just, just say that it's it's horrifying and we don't know what, what's gonna happen. and. Things like this have happened in ultra-masculine sports, such as hockey before, and and um, you hear... Again, the, the reason it's so horrifying is because it's a lot of people. It's not just one coach and one person who got molested. It's a lot of people, and that's why it's so... I don't know what to say, other than I went through it, and it's horrifying, but I don't know.